This is the best way to potty train your puppies. Yo, YouTube, what's the deal? We back here with another video. I appreciate y'all, man, continue to tap in with me. I'm teaching y'all how to potty train your puppies. I'm sure a lot of people really, when they try to potty train their puppies, they don't do the training the right way. They just go ahead and throw them somewhere and leave them in the corner, have a little mat or something like that. Throw them in a little, throw them in a whelping box and just sit them. A whelping box for puppies is cool at a younger age, you know, because they're not really going to be able to hold their potty at all. But once they start beginning, once they start to get to six to eight to ten weeks, those are start going to be the times when you start potty training. But most of the time, people, when they get their puppies at, at their homes, is at eight weeks. So eight weeks is a good time to really start your potty training. But what's the best way to potty train? Pretty much this is what you need. You got you can get one of these crates off of Amazon. You can get them from PetSmart, Petco, Walmart. They got them all, they all, uh, all those stores have them. Different prices. This is a smaller crate, so it's just gonna depend on what type of dog that you have. Of course, for a bigger breed, you're gonna need a bigger crate. Uh, most puppies, to be honest, this is probably like one of the smallest crates. I don't know the uh, dimensions on this crate. For most puppies around the eight week age, this will work. But you gotta take in mind, that puppies do grow fast. For American bullies, they don't grow as fast as like a Cane Corso or a Mastiff that grow really pretty fast within two weeks, a month, uh, two months of, of time that they grow pretty fast. So you gotta keep in mind, but you wanna be able to have a crate that when a puppy gets into the crate, they don't have too much room. The only room that you want them to have is to be able to turn around inside the crate. Other than that, you don't want them to have too much room within the crate. The reason for them not having too much room in the crate is supposed to mentally prepare them to not have to use the restroom and then they have to sit in the they piss and they poop. Most dogs, after a while, they kind of understand like, nah, if I'm gonna be living right here, I don't wanna be laying in piss and I don't wanna be laying in poop. So it kind of mentally has them to be able to hold their potty. When it comes to the age of the puppies, they pretty much say that whatever the months is of the puppies, that's how long they can hold their potty within uh, sitting in the cage. So if a puppy is two months old, they can hold their potty for two hours. If the puppy is three months old, they can hold their puppy for three hours. You pretty much get what I'm saying. So. What you do is, when it comes to potty training your puppy, and it all depends. Some people do have to work, so they can't do the daily potty training, and some of their dogs just have to be in the cage. But when you get home, and for the people that are at home or be able to uh, deal with their puppies on a consistent basis, what you, what you do is, if you have your puppies out for a little bit, that's cool and all. But you wanna be able to kind of force the potty training. So you keep them in the crate and it helps with the crate training. That's, I'll probably make a whole nother video when it comes to overall crate training, but this is potty training, crate training. So basically what you do is you have the puppy in the cage for two hours. He probably might cry or whatever the case is. That's what puppies do because they're not comfortable within the cage at that time, but it's not going to harm them. Every time you pull a puppy, so you'll leave the puppy in the crate for two hours and then you'll pull them out. But what you do is you take them to the designated potty area. I'm sure they don't have, they're not fully vaccinated. So what you'll have to do is you have, you can have an area within your backyard that you use for the potty for the puppies, or you can with, uh, use within your house, you can use within your garage, whatever you use. But every time you pull the puppy out of that crate, you take them to that designated area and let them use the restroom. And you kind of, you might have to have a little bit of patience. It might not take one minute for them to use the bathroom. Let them do a little bit of roaming around and they're gonna pee and they're gonna poop. Most of the time they won't poop every time, but they, they, they usually will pee. And then you let them do whatever you're gonna do, whether it be you playing around, you taking them somewhere. But before you put them back into that crate, you have to take them to that designated area to use the restroom before you put them back in the crate. And then this mentally is letting them know like, okay, this is where I'm supposed to use the restroom at. And at the same time, you're not forcing them to hold their potty because they can't hold it that long. So you, so once you do that, you put them in a the crate and you know, they'll be relaxed. You can have a little bit of water in there. I'm not really with the free feeding. When it comes to feeding your puppies, I feed my puppies at a certain amount of time. I feed all my dogs at a certain time and stuff like that. So with the feeding, it'll control them from having to use the bathroom all the time. So in their crate, what I usually do is, 
I'll put down a pee pad and I'll put down a blanket or something soft that they can lay on. They're going to end up, they, they're going to pretty much pee and they're going to poop sometimes. Some dogs, like I, I've had dogs that off top, they'll be, they hold they poop. They don't want to sit in it and I'm not leaving them in a the cage forever, but They'll be able to hold their poo for the amount of times that they're in the crate. But the pee, they're pretty much going to pee until they gradually get older and older. And then they kind of get an understanding of what's going on. It's pretty simple, but you got to be consistent with it. This ain't going to be no one month, two month, three month type of situation. I say, I, to be honest, I say about within about like a 60 day to 90 day range. They'll really start catching on of how to hold their potty. So when you take them in a car, you have them running around the house. But when you do have them running around the house, you can't be lazy. You can't be thinking that, oh, they potty train because they holding it for two hours up in that crate. Guaranteed, once they come out that crate, and if you let them run around, they're going to use the bathroom. So you have to have a lot of patience with these puppies. But the main thing is to start them with the crate training because when you be, so, so when it's time for you to leave them in the crate and you need to go somewhere, you won't be coming back home to a puppy and it's poop and it's pee all in the crate. That is the main purpose of doing the potty training with the crate. It saves you a lot of time of dealing with a gang of cleanup, uh, potty accidents and all of that. And like I said, you have to have patience with these patients, with these puppies, but it does take time. But overall, gradually, after a while, it works wonders, man. I do this with all my dogs and yeah, they still, every once in a while, you might have certain dogs that's harder to uh, get an understanding or some catch on pretty fast and then you do go through the times where puppies and dogs or whatever they have accidents and pretty much but by the time they get to a certain age it's like clockwork they understand they get it but you just got to mentally yourself as an owner owning the dog crate outside potty outside potty crate and stay on top of it like that if you stay on top of this, I'm telling you right now, it'll save you a lot of time of dealing with puppy messes and the pottying everywhere. So when you receive your puppies, start this ASAP. Man, it'll save you a lot of time and a lot of headache if you go ahead and start this ASAP, man. Like I said, it's also a, a way that you can crate train your, your dogs. The best way to potty training is crate potty training. That's all I have for you in this video. If you're enjoying my content, like, comment, and subscribe, man. And uh, let me know how y'all feeling about this video. Let me know what ups and downs and problems that you guys can have with the crate training when it comes to the potty training. And I might be able to have some more advice for you. I might be able to do a fuller detailed video on the crate training and the potty training and the other ways that you can go about to uh, make it easier process for you. Uh, it's, a, it's a few things that you can do. And one more thing. When it comes to the puppy potty crate training, overnight, you might have to do the same thing. You might have to wake up in the middle of the night and take your puppies outside to use the bathroom because that means that if they end up screaming or, or they end up screaming or you just see them up and fidgety and stuff like that, it probably means they have to use the bathroom. And you, so you, what you do is you pretty much, you get up, you got to get up and you got to take them outside. It's just part of having a puppy. But if you do these things right at the beginning, when they become older and stuff like that, you know, it has saved you a lot of time and a lot of headache. Like I said, man, I appreciate y'all tapping in with me in my videos. Like, comment, and subscribe, man. And I'm out.